Yes, in a word, I think it will work for the people of Australia. I think it is a extraordinary intervention into what is a clear market failure. And I think that's a point that a lot of the mainstream press has, has failed to actually understand that we have a market failure. We have a multinational gas cartel. That's a very strong word, but uh, a strong word to describe an accurate situation we have as the ACCC has articulated there are three global consortia that controls 90% or more of the gas reserves of Eastern Australia. And they that oligopoly has been extracting extreme prices from the people of Australia. And so that is the definition of a cartel, extracting monopoly rents from restricting supply and pushing the price up. So. That's a market failure. At the end of the day, I'm not all for government intervention where markets are working, but when they're clearly not working to protect and serve the people of Australia, that is the obligation of the federal government is to intervene. So it's a unprecedented times. It's an unprecedented, unprecedented intervention. I think it will be an effective intervention. And I say that with a very high level of confidence because we have seen the forward market curve for electricity in New South Wales and Queensland and the price at the start of November, so just six weeks ago, the price was up at $250, $300 a megawatt. Today, six weeks later, the price is $150 to $175 a megawatt hour. So the market expectations are that the wholesale price of electricity at the start of next year, they are down 40 to 50% on where they were only six weeks ago. So the market's preempted this intervention, putting a price crap on gas of $12 a petajoule, gigajoule, and uh, $125 a tonne price cap on domestic use of domestic owned coal as uh, effectively reposition the market. And that will dramatically reduce the amount of inflationary energy pressures that the Australian people will be smashed with next year.